YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to wrinkle black, um, charge piping, intake piping, any kind of piping. You can even do this on your um, valve cover, which looks really good. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, and then the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to install um, some parts on my Evo 10. So today we're gonna be uh, wrinkle blacking some Evo 10 parts. Uh, my entire charge system is wrinkle black already, except for I bought a new STM intake um, and it came like a non-polished aluminum. So I wanna make it look wrinkle black and then the top mount, uh, top mount charge pipe, um, the wrinkle on it is kind of flaking off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to redo that. Let's go ahead and jump into Let's start out with that oversized, huge STM intake. So I bought this, and I think it's a first generation. I'm not sure. Um, it came with this STM, STM tuned little coupler. And if you actually look at STM's website, this is, I think, is the first generation. Why? Because there's a recirc valve on um, the later models. This one is not, does not have a recirc valve. But it has the perfect um, math mount, the perfect welded in uh, velocity, and then um, the two little uh, vacuum lines right there that are on there. It looks really good. Now the only issue that I have is that it's currently um, not polished, just aluminum. And it doesn't fit the engine bay at all. Um, I've actually installed it. And then in addition to it, it came with an old k &N intake, an old dirty one. So I did go to STM um, and bought a new one. The k the the k and intake is actually pretty expensive. I would say it's like $80, $70-$80, but it's a huge, I mean just massive oversized one. So um, we'll do this the last step, but I'm going to remove this one and then here is the new one that I ordered from STM. So there is the new filter, beautiful k and from the, uh, k and is actually made in the US, I didn't know that. Uh, pretty cool, um, huge, 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 huge intake with a huge um, coupler uh, clamp that is just massive so here's the old one I'm excited to replace it it'll look really good in the engine bay but our goal is to get this wrinkle black so to do the wrinkle black let's move back over to the other material that I have to do this project that you guys would want to do too VHT right here so this is VHT wrinkle plus 350 degrees Fahrenheit I don't think the I don't think the intake temps are gonna be getting that hot otherwise your or 4B11 T is gonna blow up uh, in addition to that I got some uh, tape right here that we're gonna tape off this little things, these little things, I'm gonna leave them um, that, that bronzy color. I'm gonna tape off this right here, this little spot. Um, I think I'm gonna do, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the end in, in spots and these, and then I'm gonna tape off the velocity intake part and this part, and then we're gonna start the wrinkle black. So here are the two parts. This is my STM intake pipe right here, and then this is going to be my top mount, um, uh, top mount, I can't even think of it, charge piping. Um, as you guys can see, some of the old wrinkle black has flaked off and then down here too. So I'm gonna make it look all nice and matching. Today's product that we're gonna be using is not sponsored, but I wish it was VHT High Temp Wrinkle Plus 350 degrees. So we won't go above that, um, but let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna do this. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna do it. I got a big cardboard box so I don't get any overspray. We're gonna use a couple products today. A VHT sanding block, and I'm actually gonna primer this. Let me show you that real quick too. Okay, so we're gonna use the VHT. We're gonna use this right here. This is primer. I love this automotive primer, really good. And then we're also gonna use a sanding block. So we'll use the 800 grit sanding block. So first things first, what I like to do before I even um, tape anything off, I do have the masking tape, I like to just sand everything so that we get a really nice adhesive sticking um, surface so stuff like this doesn't happen where it flakes off. It, and you can actually see underneath this, look how shiny and polished that is. It is not very adhesive. That's probably why that didn't stick on. So let's just jump into this thing and start sanding. So I'm just going to jump into it and start sanding. Okay, so the next step is before you jump into doing this, you're gonna wipe, wanna wipe it all down to get rid of all that sand and dust. A lot of metal shavings came off all that. We don't want any of that in the paint. So let me wipe it all down with a microfiber. All right, the next step is you're gonna take some masking tape and you're gonna mask off the things that you do not want primer nor uh, nor um, nor wrinkle black on. So like right here, we're not gonna want any of that. So we'll just do this top part and we'll cover that. 
Okay, so we've actually taped it all off now, as you guys can see. Do it like that. Now, we're gonna do one more step before we start with the um, primer. We are gonna take a razor blade and we're gonna cut the line of where we don't want, uh, or where we want the paint to stop at. Um, so I'll go get a razor blade and cut around that because if we just did it like this, it'd be hilarious. So let's go get a razor blade real quick. Okay, so I just taped everything off. Look at these lines, they're really good. Um, you guys can see it's gonna look like a nice square block. Look at that taping job. Very good, very good. So um, let's go ahead and jump right into this part. This is gonna be my favorite part. Um, maybe, maybe the wrinkle black will be the best. So with this one, this is pretty good. Um, this, since we sanded it, it's really, really ready. I'm doing this because I think that this gives it the best adhesive, um, instead of just going straight to wrinkle black. So what we're gonna do is just throw this bad boy on there. Okay, now that we have the charge piping, um, sitting after we did the primer, we're gonna let it sit for quite a while. I accidentally grabbed the pipe. I made a mistake. Um, we're gonna let it sit for a while, 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna go over the wrinkle block. Okay, this thing says to shake for a long time. It should come on, um, like one minute, they said. It should come on very smooth and glossy, and then it's gonna take like two hours for it to actually start to wrinkle, and then it needs to sit for 40, 24 to 48 hours. So. Um, we're obviously not gonna be installing uh, this today, uh, but I wanted to show you guys how to do this, and then I will show you guys the result also. So I've been shaking this up. Um, this one, it says to keep about eight to 10 inches away. So we're gonna go a little bit further. We're gonna do this pattern, and then we'll do this way, and then we'll do diagonal. So let's just start from the top. Oh, I'm kind of missing stuff. Okay, oh man, I'm a big gloss black kind of guy, but um, the wrinkle, the rest of the car is wrinkle black, and it actually has um, properties to keep the uh, intake and charge piping cool, actually temperature cooled. I saw, I think they did it and it was like four, four degrees Celsius or something like that, and it was actually like a 15 degrees Fahrenheit decrease. Um, so it's really helpful to keep the engine cooler because Evos and a lot of cars, a lot of my turbo cars that I have, the MR2 especially, it'll get heat soaked and it'll lose power. Um, if you guys went and watched my last dyno video, the Celica got heat soaked and it lost on the very last dyno run, like five or six horsepower. Um, very visible. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm going to let this one dry four or five hours, I guess. Um, I'll see if it starts to wrinkle and then I might hit it one more time. Uh, I tried not to get some runs on there, but I definitely did get a couple of runs on the back side. Um, I have a friend that did this. Uh, this is my first time wrinkle blocking. And um, he said, don't worry because over time it'll all just look wrinkly and crinkly. So you won't even be able to see the runs. So hopefully that's true. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit this one now. So that's it for today. Um, my hands are dirty. We are gonna wait 24 hours, leave it outside, uh, maybe inside, maybe in the garage. Um, once the fumes go away, I'll put it back in the garage. Uh, and we're gonna leave it for 24 hours. Um, I did have a couple run spots on the backside, not visible. Um, I hope that they roll, the runs roll down or smooth, or smooth out as it wrinkles, I'm not sure. Um, but I just wanna show you guys how it's done when it's all done. I think it's gonna look awesome, especially on the sides that are visible from the engine bay. Um, it did say on the can that you can grind it all the way down to the metal. Um, you can put a primer on it or um, you can scuff it up, but it recommended to have it all the way down to the metal. Um, so I have a primer on there. So we'll see if it does that. If the primer comes out better with good results, I'll let you guys know. If, if you don't do a primer, um, maybe I'll do it on a um, valve cover soon and I'll do it with just pure metal. So I'll sand the metal and then do no primer and I'll let you guys know if that's a better result. But let's give it 24 hours and I'll see you guys in 24 hours. All right, uh, it hasn't been a full 24 hours. I, I just wanted to update you guys real quick. It's been uh, two hours. Check this out, this is crazy. Two hours, check that out. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. So that's two hours. I'll give you guys an update after 24 hours, but wow, it's perfect. It's really looking evenly. Dish. Oh, that looks good, good, good. Okay, so we are all done. It's been dried. It's actually really good. Um, this is my first time, so you guys can see there's like a little bit of scuffs right there. Um, but overall, I feel that I did a very good job for might be my first time. Um, it's not perfect, absolutely not perfect. Um, 
I, uh, on my website, MichelRay.com, I sell um, these kits that come with uh, wrinkle black. It keeps the temperatures down, and they do a better job than what I do. But I feel that for my first time, I did a pretty darn good job. It looks really good. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is unwrap this, and this will be the end of this video of showing you guys how to wrinkle black um, your any charge pipe. So you could do this with an intake pipe. Um, you can do it with anyone. And I think that this looks really good, really modern, really nice. Um, looks more valuable than the kind of the 90s um, racer uh, aluminum, thin aluminum. So I think that So this is gonna be my favorite part. We're gonna unmask. Let's go ahead and unmask, unwrap um, the taped off areas and it'll look really good. So let's do that now. So we'll do these and then we'll do this one. We'll pull that one off. Um, I already pulled that one off. That looks really good. I did a good line with that one. Um, but let's pull this line off. Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's looking good. That's a pretty good line. Let's remove the rest. All right, guys, check this out. Look how good a job I did on this one. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that looks awesome right there. Ooh, I can't wait to pull the rest of that tape off. Okay, so there's the final product. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, yeah, I mean, I did okay. Uh, it could have been perfect. It could have been better, but I think that I did a pretty okay job. Uh, that is how you wrinkle black it. I know that uh, the number one thing that this does is actually lower the temperature of, of the piping and the intake, which is a really good job, or a really good thing. Um, I will learn and I'll be better next time, but I think that looks really adequate. So, so next video will be me installing these. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have any comments or like say, hey Mitch, you can do it better this way. Um, if you've done this before, definitely comment down below. I'd love to see how you guys did it before. Um, but I think it turned out really good. I really like that STM intake. It's huge. Uh, so the next video is us installing that onto the Evo and um, having that and I'll do some flybys and pulls uh, with that new STM intake. And then the following video we'll do a grim speed, how to install a grim speed boost controller. And then the following video on the Evo, um, which I don't know if it'll be this week or later, the following video will be a um, uh, open O2 downpipe and then we'll go ahead and get a tune. We'll do a street tune, and then once I get a street tune, I'm gonna take it to the dyno so I can show you guys some real dyno horsepower. But I should be putting some big numbers down. I think I should put really a lot, lot, like 100 more horsepower than I did last time. So I'm really excited. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys for the next video of installing these on my E.